Thank you. And 12 News consumer reporter Sarah Grinelli checked out ways to prepare for the upcoming storm. Sarah spoke with the Rhode Island Emergency Management Agency about what to expect as we continue our team coverage on the storm preps. Sarah? Mike Shannon Rima tells me that there will be warming centers open across the state and share some tips on how to stay safe during the storm. We also heard from Eversource in Massachusetts who say that their crews there are ready. A mix of heavy wind and rain is forecasted to strike Rhode Island and Massachusetts. Eversource says they've been tracking the storm since Friday and are getting crews in place. We procured around 400, 500 line resources, overhead line resources, another couple hundred tree crews, and then several hundred more, I'll just call them uh, support resources. In Rhode Island, Melissa Cardin with the Rhode Island Emergency Management Agency says now is a good time to start preparing for the heavy winds. You want to make sure all outdoor decor and furniture is secure because, uh, you know, that can be very unsafe if, if things are, are flying around and expecting, we're expecting wind gusts up to potentially 60 miles an hour. She says it's helpful to make sure your trees are pruned properly in case branches break. Coastal communities could see some mild to moderate flooding. Never drive through uh, Ponded water. I mean, never drive through water on the roadways. It's, it's very, very dangerous. I mean, not only can you ruin your car, but you could be very hurt. And for those who are looking for some extra supplies at home, we stopped by Adler's Design Center in Providence. Owner Harry Adler says insulating windows helps keep heat in if the power goes out. Flashlights, candles, batteries, we have all those supplies. He says if your basement starts to flood, sub pumps are good to have on hand. Plus, lock de-icer is a great tool if you get locked out of your car. You can get into your car because sometimes, you know, especially if you lose power, your car is where you charge your cell phone. So there is a special needs emergency registry which alerts local authorities of people who might need some help during the storms, like if you use an oxygen tank or on, or on dialysis. However, it does take some time to register, but it's also to do, important to do before the next storm. For more information on that and the warming centers, head to our website, WPRI.com. Sarah Grinelli, 12 News.